Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We begin to connect on a deeper level for that purpose. This is our Life Lesson Series number 255. Uh, and we continue this series in the hopes that there's things here that would be of value to you. Um, life lesson series is just things that life may be trying to teach you that you may not be paying full attention to. And so those little reminders can sometimes be helpful. Um, if you're looking for coaching, life, relationship, business, or whatever have you, would love to be of assistance to you in that way. Please feel free to keep your mind open to that at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will get you in touch with me or a member of my team. We can make something happen from there. The first is visualize. Visualize the things you want to do. Visualize yourself doing things that you never thought you could. Visualize you changing in a positive direction towards the things that you actually want to accomplish with your life and know that what you're capable of, of accomplishing is actually probably much greater than you even realize when you begin to see yourself as capable of doing exactly that, the visualization of the things that you never thought you could do. It's super valuable and you begin to understand how to get more out of your daily life in a manner that is both beneficial but also a stronger mentality, a, a smarter mentality, and the beginning of identifying ways to be healthy, smart, and empowered through the actions you're taking. The next thing to consider there is kind of looking at the deals you make. Are you making a, a deal with yourself that, that you might regret later? Are you saying that you can handle something emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, that you can't? I know in my own life as I, as I you know, ultimately am, am still dealing with medical issues and, and bills from mistakes I made years ago. Um, luckily, hopefully about 18 months that will all be cleared should everything go according to plan. But anyway, um, regardless to say, you know, it's it's interesting because a lot of times we get caught up in, in negative thinking, we get caught up in negative ways of being, and ultimately waste a lot of energy and time over committing ourselves. And over commitment is just as bad as being under committed in some ways. When we don't understand what it is to be over committed or when we're overextending ourselves and don't realize the negative consequence, it can be super um, problematic, it can be super overwhelming, it can be super potentially negative when we are overextending ourselves. And so that becomes super challenging in a really interesting way. The next thing is deal with the things that are negative in your life. And when I mean deal with, that is a, address them, accept the things you cannot change, accept the things you can change, accept the things that you've put time into that didn't pan out. Sometimes everything we want, everything we need, and everything we think we need can be different things. But if we're holding on to something that we wanted five years ago or even five months ago sometimes, it can be detrimental to us moving forward into a better quality of life and overall a better situation. And so that becomes super, super important to begin to look at from a new perspective. That is to say, you know, identifying the way in which we make better decisions is super valuable when we're trying to get ourselves out of a rut or get ourselves out of a jam, reminding ourselves that our emotional state is not the only thing that matters. Our emotional state is not the only thing that really is important or can be, you know, use, useful to us is also super, super valuable. And so the next thing there is to kind of look at what you believe in. What you believe you will eventually realize, achieve, or, or succeed to achieve. So your beliefs are super important in a number of ways. If you're constantly in a, in a place of negative belief or what I call counter belief, that is believing against yourself, wanting something but not believing it's possible, then ultimately you're going to burn yourself out sooner or later. That burnout will eventually get on your nerves cause frustration, cause self-doubt, and ultimately lead you in a direction you don't necessarily feel like going, want to go, need to go, or are even benefiting from going. And so 
when you begin to understand the value of identifying the right way to deal with things in a manner that's that's super valuable you can then begin to connect on a in a deeper way and ultimately balance things out so hopefully this is helpful get your feet on the ground your mind in the moment till next time everybody